Tom and Jerry the movie is a nuanced look at friendship, class structure, and... I I'm just kidding, this movie's f***ing terrible. Welcome back to Instant Movie Reviews. Our movie today is, well, Tom and Jerry the Movie, which is a movie that's out in theaters and HBO Max now. And if you're keeping track at home, that is our third HBO Max movie in five weeks. And also, those keeping track at home, this is our fifth episode in a row, which it might be a record. Someone look that up. But uh, here we are. Welcome back. It's less a Tom and Jerry movie and more a young woman cons her way into a job at a hotel that she's not qualified for at all and no one bothered to do any sort of background check at all. Chaos ensues, and Tom and Jerry are just kind of there in the background doing their shenanigans. If you like Tom and Jerry, uh, don't watch this movie. If you like movies, don't watch this movie. It's a deeply unfunny movie with terrible acting from some decent actors, so I know they can do better. Maybe, you know, having to act off of imaginary cartoons is hard. But then again, Michael Jordan did it. Bad effects and awful writing. Tim's story of Fantastic Four. Not that one. Yes, that one cobbles together a movie that doesn't make any sense. It's the slapstick Tom and Jerry with the aesthetics of an early thousands Disney Channel show. Forcing the film to never really land on a coherent tone or plot or, you know, anything that makes sense at all, it jumps from one idea to the next at such a breakneck speed it'll make your head spin like Tom's after being hit by a baseball bat. At multiple times throughout the film, you'll find yourself asking, what am I watching? What is happening? Is that mouse really flying a drone? The script is lame and filled with humor that felt dated 10 years ago, with jabs at social media, with lines like, was that on the tweet book or the ticky tocky? <laughs> I will say the actual Tom and Jerry parts are decent, and there's one scene within the hotel room that feels like a, you know, a little cartoon. But they're also not cartoons, because they're like 3D in the real world, but like physics don't apply to them or something. It's kind of deeply unsettling, because like they are 2D, but they're also 3D, and it just would have been better if they just made this whole thing a three minute Tom and Jerry short and put it in front of a better movie. But instead, it drags on for an ungodly hour and 41 minutes, pushing a four minute plot to its breaking point. If you're gonna bring Tom and Jerry back, this is not how to do it. In fact, you know, just for don't watch this movie. If you, if you like Tom and Jerry, just go find some of the old cartoons and, and watch them. Just, just do that. Don't watch this. I give Tom and Jerry the movie one out of five. Hey, thanks for watching, and make sure to follow us on all of these social media platforms. We'll see you next time.